everybody and welcome back to my channel so i've got a nice little cup of tea here it's quite warm so steam is coming off a bit right now but i just wanted to film a little video and do a little intro to this video basically i did film a vlog a few days ago where i did mention that my hamster was not very well it was an autumn pamper routine um but in the video my mum came over and i did mention that my hamster wasn't very well basically he had this like weird skin condition i'm not sure where it came from or how it happened because i've never experienced that with previous hamsters i don't know but he had this like weird skin condition which made his skin really dry you know it wasn't affecting him too much you know he was happy and fine he was getting quite old and what was also affecting him was the fact that he kept falling and stuff like that like he would go up his ladder and slip straight down he wasn't very strong anymore he was getting weaker and i've never seen a hamster look as old as he looked like i don't understand what happened um i looked after him like i normally would with hamsters and he was absolutely fine in terms of that but i don't know what happened but he just wasn't looking well and he obviously had something wrong with him so he deteriorated really really quickly over the space of like two weeks he was just kind of falling down his little ladder like not falling fully like tumbling down just like he would walk up and then just go and then have to walk up again like he wasn't hurting himself but i came back from uni one day and he was not in his bed he didn't go in his bed his bed's actually at the top of his cage so he didn't even go up there he probably was too weak and he just made his bed down in the bottom of his cage with the sawdust and he just looked so cold and he was just shaking like this and i don't know if he'd fallen and hurt himself because i wasn't there to see it because i was at uni so i'm not sure and i i do personally think that maybe he had like actually hurt himself like he i think he might have fallen off one of his ladders so i don't know um if if he'd hurt himself but i'm not sure because he was deteriorating anyway and he just looked so cold so i put him in a smaller cage which is where my mum came over in that vlog we put him in a smaller cage and he seemed you know to pick himself up a little bit better and he started you know eating a few bits of food and things and the next day i noticed that he hadn't really drank any water and i decided to take his like little home away and to grab the water bottle and to literally just put it straight to his mouth like bottle feeding him and i was sat there for about 15 minutes doing that because i thought i'm just going to stay here until he stops drinking he didn't stop drinking so i had to stop because i was like well i need to go to uni so i stopped um giving him water and i thought oh, i'll come back later and do that and obviously he was very thirsty and he'd been drinking the, the previous day anyway because i hear it the drink bottle go but he must have just been really dehydrated from whatever he had wrong with him and then i went to uni and came back home he seemed fine i could hear him like nibbling things the next day um i'd put some food in that night as well by the way um i just put some food in before i went to bed i came back from uni the next day he hadn't touched his food he i don't believe he would have drank any water because it didn't look like he had drank any it hadn't really gone down i also noticed he hadn't weed and he also hadn't pooed which is not good um for a hamster that usually pees and um pees and wheeze poos and wheeze all the time so i know that there was something wrong with him so i tried to give him his water bottle my mum was with me at the time because i'd actually walked back from uni with her because she um her work is near my uni so we walked back at the same time and i tried to give him more water and he it looked like he was trying to drink but he just couldn't um he couldn't do it and i noticed that he was trying to poo and he couldn't poo um tmi but yeah um this is for hamster lovers this video this video is not for just random people that just care to watch it if you like hamsters you might be interested if this video will probably not get many views but he was very poorly but i could tell straight away that he wasn't very well and my mum could as well he was started shaking backwards and forwards like as if he had hurt himself so that's why i think maybe he had i don't know and he just looked so ill i'm not going to show pictures of him looking ill because it did not look good and i don't want people to see that um so i will just be showing clips and videos of him looking well and looking good and looking fine we decided to take him to the vet to have him put down i had to wait outside whilst my mum went in and yeah we did get him put down because he wasn't well and he was just suffering and he would have just stayed like that for a few days and not drank eight or wee and he would have just died in pain basically so it's like i i did we decided to get him put down and i he came back in a little box i still got him because i'm gonna bury him tomorrow and i'm gonna film that 
in this video so you'll see that um a little memorial for him slash slight funeral thing not really but do you know what i mean i'm just going to show a few clips just because i'm documenting this this is my channel about my life i don't make videos really necessarily for any particular reason i just film whatever i want to film so that's what this video is going to be and my leg is dead oh my god so yeah, I'm now going to show you a little montage of clips from when we first got him and also up until kind of more recently, even though we don't have as many clips recently or there might be pictures, etc. Hopefully you semi enjoy this video. I just wanted to film this because it's little Dean and he's my favourite hamster that I've had. And um, yeah, he was the tamest little guy. He literally was. He was so tame and he was so nice and calm and he would let me pick him up whenever, he would let me stroke him whenever or give him treats and he would come up to the cage to say hello and well grab treats probably but he was just so good and yeah couldn't have asked for a better hamster and yeah he was honestly amazing so I just want to do a little shout out to Dean. He is named after my dad as well so if you're wondering, he's called Dean. I named him after my dad, don't ask why, I just did. I actually really like the name Dean, so that's why, it's not any particular reason. But yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching. Basically, I am gonna go today and bury my hamster. He was literally like the best hamster ever, the cutest, the tamest, the nicest. So we're gonna bury him today. And that is pretty much all I need to say. Dean's in this little carrier. I won't show you what he looks like because it's a bit weird to film something that's dead. But yeah, he's in this little carrier. He's wrapped up and we are gonna bury him very shortly. <laughs> we're about to go out and bury him in the garden. We're thinking that we might put like a little, in the, like a week or so or whenever, like a wooden little, what's it called? Like a stick or something? And it will just say like little Dean on it or something. Um, and when he, how old he was when he died or something like that. So like just something to remember him by so that when he's buried we can see where he's been buried. Yeah. We think we might do that. Okay. Where should we put him? I'm just holding him in my hand. Well, Make sure he's wrapped up nice and tightly so he doesn't, you know, get exposed. Oh, little Dee! We didn't want to leave him at the pet shop. We wanted to bury him ourselves so that we can put a little plaque on it. Didn't we, Mum? We did. It's a lot of pine cones and stuff down here. <laughs> Savage. Oh. <laughs> just seems so final doesn't it? Little Houdini once or twice. Houdini, yeah when he escaped <laughs> a few times but he'd always escape and be still next to his cage. <laughs> yeah he was usually where the food is. Yeah he'd yeah. go straight to his food. Hey dad. Where's he going? Over here. Hello. Dad how do you feel now that the hamster that's got your name is now dead? <laughs> <laughs> He's not doing too good. <laughs> right, where is it? Where is it? I'll finish it off. Oi, Dad, have some respect. This is a memorial. He's obviously joking, guys. Oh, God. Paul wants to dig it out, doesn't it? Well, don't dig it out when we've buried him in it. No, I mean digging, as in <coughs> levelling and tidying. I've got my hair stuck in this. <laughs> Help! Aha! Uh -huh. I'm stuck! Hello? Somebody? I'm stuck! Can I record you? Yeah. <laughs> Is it on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. 
Oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh, I thought he was going to be there for a few hours. Well, that was disappointing. Thank you. Good, good soil. Very good it's soil. Good, yeah. Or dark, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. So we're going to have our bird feeders out the front. <laughs> Stuff. This isn't. <laughs> Dad doesn't Dad, even have hair, and he's Dad's managed to get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just irritating, isn't it? Um, right, let's pop him in. Right, can I just wrap him up a little bit more because he's yes. kind of exposed. Yeah. What, in, what are you wrapping him in? Well, he's in what he's got, but he's I've just not wrapped up. Down. Oh, little Dean, you had a good life. He was very tame. He was very loved as well. And friendly. Right. He was very yeah, loved. I haven't wrapped him up yet. Still here. Are you putting sawdust in, did you say? Yeah, pop some... Oh, I thought he was going to pop... Gentle. Well, we've got some sawdust. I thought he was going to pop some of that bedding actually inside his... Um, oh, right. His wrapping. Yeah, it'd be fine. Oh, there's a little robin watching us. We're going to put some sawdust inside um, his little thingy because that's like what he would sleep in. Oh. This is when we need a hamster funeral song. Sorry, there was a leaf on me. <laughs> I think some of his food's in there too. Yeah. Put some food in in case he comes back to life. It's all going to go in. He's going to take that into the next world. So he's got a snack when he right. arrives. Right, shall we get on? Right. right. <laughs> in he goes. Bye, Dini. You was a cutie pie. There. Bye bye, Dini. We, 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 night nights. Well, we night. had a great time. Go to hamster heaven. Yeah. I just love that time he escaped and you found him in his food bag. Yeah, and his food bag was at like metres away. Yeah. It was nowhere near his cage. He's... And he still managed to find it. Well, yeah. he got the nose of a bloodhound, clearly. He just like, oh. We're going to put a little stick in there, like I said, um, yeah. at some point in the future. I'm so we'll sure just we'll have, have to remember exactly where we put him. Should we put a few acorns on top so that we know where we put him? Or do you mean pine cones? Okay, whatever that is, a pine cone it's then. It's a pine cone. Oh, here it is. We've got quite a lot of pine cones around here, actually. Yeah, pine cones. Shall we put some pine cones on top, Dad? Yeah. yeah. So that we know where he's buried. Sure. We'll just shove a little pile on top. I'll pick them up off the patio. It's a good way of getting rid of them. Right. And then we're done, aren't we? Yeah, just put that there. Look. We're just going to put that there. Temp oh, Jesus. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> what about that one? Yeah. Oh God. Right, there we go. Do we want these on as well? Yeah. There we are. Right, are. there you go, Dini. Yeah. Oh look, that's like an organic burial, Ooh, I know, isn't it? will get it? stung. <laughs> right, bye I'm Dini. Bye bye. Aww. It's all buried now. Definitely wanted to bury him. Yeah. So yeah, we should probably say goodbye. Yeah. Because I'm going to end this vlog now. They were probably waiting for us to sing a hymn or something. I'm sorry, but that's. Just oh yeah, not we're not we doing do. a funeral. <laughs> it's just a burial. Mm. Um, but anyway, so thanks for watching this video. Mm -hmm. There's no point in me continuing the video. And um, see you in my next video. I'll bye see bye. See you soon. Bye. See you soon, kids. <laughs>